I've just come back from a trip around Europe, I did, into France, Belgium, went to the Spa Classic, um, down through France, stayed in Belfort, Switzerland, um, the Grimsel Verka over to Kowalden for the night, uh, from there, over the Stelvio into Italy, into the Dolomites, stayed in Cortina d'Ampezzo, Couple of nights uh, down to Lake Garda just for one night, then over to uh, oh god, Baron de Ch oh yeah, I can't remember the where the Star Alpina is. Stayed there for a couple of nights camping, uh, did the Stella Alpina, and then went to over to France. Down uh, over the Col d'Azur, uh, down Route Napoleon, uh, to Manosque, and then over to Milan to look at the bridge, and then headed home. Fantastic 12 days. And I thought I'd just quickly do this video quickly, I'll just like giving you some boring insight into where I've been. Um, but I just thought I'd do this video because. I took so much crap with me, it was ridiculous. I've never done a trip like this before, and I just took an absolute inordinate amount of junk. I mean, it's, you know, I used a fair bit of it, but it kind of weighs you down, you know, when you're having to sort of load and unload the bike each day, even if you're in a hotel or if you're in a tent. Actually, in a tent, it's slightly easier, because like, the bike's right there, so, you know, you can you can pack away a little bit easier, although there's actually more to pack away, because you've got the tent. but. I figured, well, I was about to empty this pannier and I thought what I'll do is just record myself doing it um, and just pull out stuff. Now this is only the camping pannier, the other one had um, the other one had my, just a bag, you know, like a pannier bag with some clothes in it. I'm not going to guess what the clothes are. The clothes were probably about this deep in there. I'd say about that much of it went unused. Um, I... Uh, I took like you know smalls like socks and kegs for fourteen days I think you know whereas of course I just wash you know I did, I took some of these things they called technical socks which sent like a wicking sock which were just fantastic because I had beautiful weather throughout the time I was away um, and on a couple of occasions I just washed I gave them a wash I took I'd actually took some of the you know the um, washing machine sort of ball things with me um, so I just bust those into the uh, into the sink and, and wash and dry it because of the weather it was easy to dry so so much stuff went unused um, but I've also got a big massive water bag as well I might drink that in and empty that out as well I'll show you the junk that I didn't use in that but anyway I'll go through this see if you like it excuse me I'm just going to grab a bit of my coffee right what have we got a pair of cycling shorts I've never, like I said, I've never done a trip of this distance before. I've got um, an Airhawk pad for the seat, which once you get that in flight, once you get one of those in flight, you probably they're just fantastic. I mean, I was just you know, the last, the latter part yesterday and the day before. I've done um, just over a thousand miles in sort of a day, you know, two days. Um, the first of those two days, I did 614 miles in one go, and the Airhawk was just. Yeah, saves your ass, literally. So, put a cycling short. Unused. Uh, one of these uh, coffee sachets. Uh, these are super useful. I mean, I took 10. How many have I got left? One, two, three. So, um, so I'd say that these were, these were definitely worth taking, but it's just so easy to just knock up a cup of coffee. But then, of course, I spent an awful lot of time in Italy. Why am I going to make my own coffee when I'm in Italy? Um, at the tunnel. I had an absolute nightmare, it's the day of the Wales game, two trains broken down, five hour delay, kicking around in the terminal for five hours, and I was remembered, oh I haven't got a high-vis vest for in France, brought one, still in the packet, well I suppose that's good actually because it means I didn't break down, uh, some tissues, um, I threw these in, they were fairly old anyway, didn't use them, not what it is, oh that's the bag for my pillow, what I did 
The reason why I haven't got the bag anymore, the pillow in the bag anymore, is because what I did was the Ortlib bag goes over the back of the bottle. I've got a GS, I'll tell the GS, and the Ortlib bag goes over the back. And what I realised is it's a fantastic backrest, but not so fantastic if you've got something hard in there that's just digging into your back. So I put a mark on the bag, on the outside of the bag, just across on the outside of the bag. This was whilst I was away. And then every day I'd make sure that the pillow was sort of, it's only like one of the little travel pillows, just stuffed down that side. So essentially I then got a soft cushion to lean back on. Worked for me. Um, Microfiber towel, travel towel. Um, these are really good, because they dry really quickly. They're really big, apparently. I didn't take it out of the bag. It's not that I'm a complete tramp and I didn't have a washer or anything. But I'd also took a hand towel, which you could say, like, well, why take both? Sure. If I'd have just took this one, I would have used it. But then I think, I think it would have just been too big to you know to dry or to just sort of wash your hands on. So like the travel towel I took, uh, the, the hand towel I took, I just used that for the shower. You know, it was it, it got washed. Um, and I just hang it to dry again. I was really lucky with the weather. I must have banged my head. I've got a HDMI cabinet thinking, because I took a laptop. I needed to plan my route, I was making it up as I went along. I don't know if one of, the, one of the hotels got a HDMI, I can plug in and watch a movie off the laptop. Took a day off, Danny. Uh, flannel. Uh, yeah, that was shoes, you know, but it certainly didn't It didn't need to be in there. What I used it for, you know, generally just wiping my hands or, you know, I didn't really use it for, for washing my face because that was just either a shower or just in the, in, in the sink. Um, I definitely didn't need to take that. Anything that could have done. That was, that's one of these um, ultimate add ons, um, a waterproof carrier for my iPhone. Um, that was never used because I've got some, oh, I can't remember what they're called, so they're off a push bike. Um, but they're essentially the, uh, the phone just clips straight onto them. But the beauty of those is they work perfectly with a gloved hand. Not waterproof, obviously, because the phone was just exposed. But again, I was really lucky with the weather. There I am. An airman pump for when I get a puncture. I didn't get a puncture. I didn't use it. And I probably wouldn't take it again, to be perfectly honest with you. If I was on the road, if I got a punch, I'd just, I've got bright lens assistance, I'd just ring someone. Um, head torch. Yes, that was used. Oh, hey, I've got stuff that was used there. Oh, Tranjo. Um, I don't know if you know what those are, if you don't, and it's a cooking system, um, they're great, uh, go look it up, that was used, a lot. Um, it was, oh, that's just a dry bag, that dry bag is, is now empty, it actually had uh, my food in it, I took um, four or five Wayfarers, sort of, you know, boiling in a bag meals, they were nice actually, they were really nice actually, I did notice though that after Sort of, I didn't, I, I never, I only camped a couple of nights consecutively, like, but even after like I'd camp and then two or three days in a hotel and then I'd camp again, I th I'm fairly sure that the wayfarers from the day, from three days prior was like still sitting on my stomach and it was like, oh god. They're designed for ex they're expedition food really, they're designed for people that are actually burning 4,000 calories a day. Well, you don't burn 4,000 calories a day while you're like there. So. But, you know, they were good. I'd recommend taking them purely for the convenience. You know, if you, sometimes I'd rock up, because I, I wasn't, I was on spec, I wasn't, I had nothing pre-booked. I'd sort of just turn up at a, you know, a municipal, a municipal camp, sort of one that I found on the web. Um, sometimes get there late, you really can't be bothered with them going out shopping or, if you're a bit more, if you're a bit better planned, you know, you can sort of stop at a supermarket en route and pick something up. So, you know, these aren't necessary, you know, the, the ready meals aren't necessary, but, they made life a bit easier. They are damn heavy though. Because they're so dense. Um, uh, gas stove. Although the, tra the Tranj is a fuel stove. Um, I just find that a small room, this is a real nice small room. It's a cheap one. I think it was from, you know, they go outdoors. Um, it's just easier. You get so much more control. If it really was packing light, then yeah, I'd probably go without it. Um, but obviously if you've got taking fuel, you've got to take a fuel bottle, but if you're taking gas, you take a gas bottle. Now actually I would contemplate on whether to get either this one, 
it's bigger on all the smaller one. I went with the bigger one because I don't, don't ask me why, but the one that's half the size is a pound more. So um, I went with the big one and feeling the weight of that, so I've moved, I've used over more than half of that, so I'd probably run out of the little one. So those were used. Um, God, I'm doing all this one, so most of this stuff has been used. Oh my god, the class bar classic I bought a load of tap and sip bottle, aren't I? Uh, not four, yes, of course that was used. Um, took a, like a multi tool kind of, it's only a cheap one, like a hammer. It's not even smacking the pegs in on the tent. Um, yes, I used it once. I wouldn't bother taking it again, I'd just go find a rock if I was really that desperate to put the pegs in. Um, an umbrella, didn't use it. I'm going to throw that away actually. Didn't use it, but didn't use it because it didn't rain, so I was lucky, yeah. I, thought, I think I can fit a rain on that. I don't think I'd have been anywhere where I'd have gone, oh, I need the roller. Um, microfiber cloths. I, took, I put a couple of these in. Um, now, in fairness, this one didn't get used because it was just stuck in there, but the one that's in the in my little tank pack was just used all the time. Put one of those in, they're fantastic. Um, I'm going to throw that because I don't need that. Um, dish cloth, you know, no, dish, uh, sponge, washing, washing up sponge. I don't know why I took two. I suppose I sort of put that one in and I thought I'll throw that one in because it's got the scarer on the top. The first, I only used one with the scarer, didn't use one with the bottom. Uh, half and half, that can go. Uh, a whole bunch of tap for the GoPro. Uh, didn't use it. I used the GoPro loads, but I didn't use, it. I didn't use any of the extra mounts. Tools. I have the mechanical aptitude of a man, but I don't know where That's probably that as far as I could describe it as. Um, I used the pliers once for one thing, but I can't remember what it was. I mean, it wasn't anything to do with fixing the bike, but they were there, they were useful. Um, I wouldn't take it again. I like my Yorkshire tea. Coffee tends to give me. Well, it doesn't give me, yeah, give, me, give me a headache if I drink tons of it, but it give anybody a headache. But I do struggle to sleep if I drink too much coffee, uh, regardless of even if I drink it during the day. So I took some tea bags, sugar, um, I didn't even open it. Waste of time. Uh, for God's sake, if you're away on holiday and you're thinking, oh, well, I might want a cup of tea. Well, if you might want a cup of tea, come buy some tea bags in the supermarket. I wasn't going to uh, Mongolia. Uh, tea towel. Because obviously I'm doing cooking stuff, therefore I need a tea towel. Don't I? Nope. Didn't use it. Um, oh, these got put in there. I don't know why I put them in there. It's just one of my set of headphones. I took three sets of headphones with me. I have no idea why they weren't used. The other one, the other pairs was. Again, I suppose I must have been thinking, oh, what if a pair breaks? Go and buy a new pair. Um, Helenox one chair. The original one, not the cheap eBay ripoffs. Oh, then fairness. Had I, you know, had I been given the choice of either paying £90 for this original or buying one of the cheap Helenox, uh, cheap ripoffs of eBay, I would have had a ripoff. But I've had this years. Um, and then I. No, I did use this actually. I, I, most of the times that I camped, I dragged this out. Um, it's not, you know, it's for the size of it, but for the comfort that it gives you when you're sat there camping, I think it's worth it. So that stays. Didn't use it. Uh, so then you're thinking, well, how did you light your fire? How did you light your gas stove? Um, Got one of those. I bought it. Oh, it's like it's like something ridiculous, like 59 pence off Amazon, like shipped from China. How the hell does that work? Um, a, you know, a striker, fire striker, what if, I don't know, big girl style kind of thing. Um, that's it. I, so really, Jesus. That's what I. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, don't know if it was just this. That's all the stuff that I used. Now, 
Anyway, let's put the stuff onto the table and the stuff that I didn't use. Actually, I did use those in fairness, so I'm going to put those on that bottle. That's my, that was just my coffees. I mean, Jesus. That, I'm going to put that on the used even though it wasn't. I didn't use it because it didn't break down, but you're supposed to have them in France. Did they really give a monkeys? I don't know. I doubt it. I don't have any. I didn't give monkeys about any of the other stuff. But I mean, look at that. That's just one pannier of unused stuff. That's the used stuff. That's the unused stuff. I'm going to go and get my, um, my Ortlib. I'll empty the Ortlib. I don't know what's in that, so you might get some pretty nasty sites, but... We'll go and empty that and we'll, we'll see what crap, unused crap comes out of that.